Soyuz has now closed uh, to within uh, 500 meters of uh, its docking port at the Rosfiat module, and we're moments away from the initiation of the fly-around that will precisely align the forward docking probe on uh, the Soyuz with the Rosfiat docking port. This uh, fly-around will take about seven minutes to execute, uh, beginning at a range of 400 meters, concluding at a range of 160 meters, a fly-around angle of just over 57 degrees. And as you can see, down below, 255 miles below the International Space Station and the Soyuz vehicle, uh, the sands of Mauritania in the northwest corner of the continent of Africa. And uh, this view, of course, uh, coming from the Soyuz vehicle, uh, just a bit jumpy, but a uh, very good view of the, the International Space Station. You can see uh, the center crosshairs. Uh, that is uh, ultimately uh, what will align uh, the uh, visual aspect of uh, the Soyuz approach for docking uh, for not only Roman Romanenko on board the uh, Soyuz vehicle, but for Oleg Novitsky and Evgeny Torelkin, who are inside the Zvezda service module, monitoring the approach of the Soyuz uh, for its link up to the Rosfiat docking port. Uh, target is aligned with crosshairs, everything is normal. The range rate is perfect, standing by for contact. Uh, is timer ready? Get ready. Everything's fine. Half a meter. Uh, yeah, target is shadowed. Contact confirmed. Contact and capture. Docking confirmed over northern Kazakhstan at 8.09 a.m. Central Time, 6.09 p.m. Moscow Time near the capital of Astana, the capital of Kazakhstan. Docking confirmed. The Soyuz Slay has pulled into port at the International Space Station for the holiday gift of three new crew members. And the hatch is open. Tom Marshburn floating in for his second visit to the International Space Station. Chris Hatfield, soon to become the first Canadian commander of the International Space Station, returning after 11 and a half years. And the Soyuz commander, Roman Romanenko, all three crew members on the Soyuz now aboard the International Space Station that has returned to a six-man crew capability. Never shy for a camera, the three crew members, uh, the Russian crew members on the International Space Station posing for photos before they all move into the Zvezda service module to don headsets for their congratulatory phone calls. Hi, it's great to see you guys on orbit. Uh, as your patch says, off the earth, for the earth. What a great slogan. You guys do great things for us uh, here on the earth. and. Uh, We'll think about you every day up there in space, enjoying the space station. Take care of the space station, enjoy yourselves, do a lot of great research. And I'll turn it now over to, the, uh, uh, to Paul from CSA. Hi, Chris and crew. It's Paul Engel from the CSA. And, I, you know, two days ago, uh, all of Canada and Canadians coast to coast to coast tuned in to watch that absolutely picture-perfect launch. And today, two days later, a flawless rendezvous approach and, and, and docking. Absolutely extraordinary start for a fantastic mission. Wish you all the best. There's a lot of science and technology innovation that's going to deliver benefits for all of us here on Earth. Good luck with the mission. Good luck with the mission.